Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're presenting 20 important questions that may be asked on the ISC2 Certified in Cybersecurity CC, certification exam. Let's get started. 1. Which type of attack consists of compromising the availability of a system or service through a malicious overload of requests? A. Cross site scripting. B. Trojans. C. Phishing. D. Denial of service. The correct answer is D. Denial of service. Explanation Denial of service is a type of attack that consists of compromising the availability of a system or service through a malicious overload of requests, which causes the activation of safety mechanisms that delay or limit the availability of that system or service. 2. Which type of attack tries to maintain privilege level access while concealing malicious activity? A. Cross site scripting. B. Rootkits. C. Phishing. D. Trojans. The correct answer is B. Rootkits. Explanation Rootkits try to maintain privileged level access while concealing malicious activity. They often replace system files, so they are activated even if the system is restarted. 3. Which tool is commonly used for password security auditing and password recovery? A. Inslookup. B. Wireshark. C. John the Ripper. D. Burp Sweet. The correct answer is C. John the Ripper. Explanation John the Ripper is a famous open source password security auditing and password recovery tool. 4. Which of the following tools is used for querying the domain name system? A. Inslookup. B. Wireshark. C. John the Ripper. D. Burp Sweet. The correct answer is A. Inslookup. Explanation NSLOOKUP is a network administration command line tool for querying the domain name system that obtains the mapping between the domain name, IP address, or other DNS records. 5. The high level documents that frame all ongoing activities of an organization are known as A. Procedures, B. Policies, C. Standards, D. Procedures. The correct answer is B. Policies. Explanation. Policies are the high-level documents that frame all ongoing activities of an organization. 6. Which of the following documents are created by governing or professional bodies to support regulations? A. Procedures. B. Policies. C. Standards. D. Regulations. The correct answer is C. Standards. Explanation. Standards are created by governing or professional bodies to support regulations. 7. Which of the following documents are created outside of the organization? A. Regulations. B. Standards. C. Both A and B. D. None of the above. The correct answer is C. Both A and B. Explanation. Both regulations and standards are created outside of the organization. 8. Which device is used to filter traffic coming from the internet? A. Firewall. B. Router. C. HIDS. D. CM. The correct answer is A. Firewall. Explanation A firewall is a device that is used to filter traffic coming from the internet. 9. Which port is used for SMTP protocol? A. 443. B. 25. C. 80. D69. The correct answer is B25. Explanation. Port 25 is used for the SMTP protocol, while port 80 is used for HTTP, port 443 is used for HTTPS, and port 69 is used for TFTP. 10. Which of these has a written plan for recovering information systems in response to a major failure or disaster? A. Business Continuity Plan. B. Business Impact Plan. C. Business Impact Analysis. D. Disaster Recovery Plan. The correct answer is D. Disaster Recovery Plan. Explanation A disaster recovery plan is a written plan for recovering information systems in response to a major failure or disaster. 11. Which of the following is defined as a circumstance or event that can adversely impact organizational operations? A. Likelihood. B. Impact. C. Threat. D. 
D. Vulnerability. The correct answer is C. Threat. Explanation. A threat is defined as a circumstance or event that can adversely impact organization operations. 12. Which of the following is an example of a technical security control? A. No entry signs. B. Badge readers. C. Acceptable use policies. D. Access control lists. The correct answer is D. Access control lists. Explanation. An access control list is a type of technical security control, while a badge reader and no entry sign are examples of physical security controls. Policies are examples of administrative security controls. 13. In change management, which component formalizes the change from the stakeholder's point of view? A. Recover from disaster. B. Rollback. C. Request for change. D. Request for approval. The correct answer is, C. Request for change. Explanation. In change management, request for change, RFC, formalizes the change from the stakeholder's point of view. 14. Which device has the primary objective of filtering incoming traffic? A. CM. B. Routers. C. Firewalls. D. Hubs. The correct answer is, C. Firewalls. Explanation. Among the options, only the firewalls filter incoming traffic, while routers and hubs only receive and forward traffic. Security Information and Event Management, CM gathers data from the components for the information system. 15. Which of the following devices broadcast packets between ports so that all segments of LAN can see all packets? A. Switches. B. Routers. C. Firewalls. D. Hubs. The correct answer is, D. Hubs. Explanation. Hubs broadcast packets between ports so that all segments of a LAN can see all packets while a switch can forward packets between network segments. 16. If you need to communicate privately within a public network, which network will you use? A. VPN B. Internal Network C. DMZ D. Internet The correct answer is, A. VPN Explanation A virtual private network, VPN creates a secure tunnel between endpoints of a public network through a dedicated private connection. 17. A written plan for recovering information systems in response to a major failure or disaster is known as a business continuity plan, b business recovery plan, c disaster recovery plan, d business impact analysis. The correct answer is c disaster recovery plan. Explanation. A written plan for recovering information systems in response to a major failure or disaster is known as disaster recovery plan. 18. A cloud computing model where the cloud infrastructure is dedicated to a single organization is known as a private cloud, b community cloud, c multi-tenant, d hybrid cloud. The correct answer is a private cloud. Explanation. A private cloud computing model where the cloud infrastructure is dedicated to a single organization. 19. Which of the following protocols should be used for speed and efficiency over reliability? A. UDP. B. DHCP. C. SNMP. D. TCP. The correct answer is A. UDP. Explanation. UDP is used for speed and efficiency over reliability so it cannot ensure a reliable connection. 20. A flaw causing an application to produce an unintended or unexpected result is a a risk b vulnerability c bug d threat The correct answer is c bug. Explanation. A bug is a flaw causing an application to produce an unintended or unexpected result that may be exploitable. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more insights on cybersecurity multiple choice questions. Drop a comment below if you have any queries on these questions. See you in the next video.